Now, I think you can see more better now. This is lung again. The heart is about to fall, so I'm going to grab it. And these are the two big arteries going in and out of the lungs. This is aorta, the arch of aorta. It makes an arch and makes an aorta, goes down. And, and the job of the aorta is to supply a lot of blood to the lower part of the body, below the heart and above the heart. The ascend, ascending aorta supplies blood to the top part of the body. Let's remove the heart so that you can see clearly. First of all, let's finish the lung part, which is the trachea, the left and the right trachea. This is lung. This is the arteries and the veins. And in the white is for the bronchus, which I showed you earlier like this in a cross section. Now let's talk about the heart quickly. It's a very small model of the heart, but however, let's explain it. This is the arteries and the veins. The, this is the aorta coming out, arch of aorta that makes an arch and then divides further from the top and the bottom. Now the inside of the heart, it, there are four chambers. Two upper chambers are called atrium. The two lower chambers are called ventricles. The job of the ventricles, especially in the left ventricle, is to pump the blood to the whole body, which is an oxygenated blood. It's a very muscular chamber. The chamber right next to the left ventricle is right ventricle. It pumps the blood to the lungs to get oxygenated. You can see the white color areas in this are valves of the heart. We'll show you a bigger model of the heart in next video. So stay tuned. You can see the red colors are arteries. These are called coronary arteries. This is not exactly how they look, but this is for the sake of demonstration. Again, there's a blood supply in the back of the heart and the lower part of the heart. So everything, all organs in the human body have the blood supplies. If the blood supplies is cut off, it causes gangrene or necrosis of that organ.